It is the difference between life and death. On one side, a fire rages out of control. The conditions in there are not tenable. You wouldn't survive a fire of that magnitude. On the other side, a small contained blaze would give a family enough time to escape. Why such a remarkable difference? We're about to show you with the help of a dad and the Chaska Fire Department. I don't think the public really realizes what a devastation a fire can be in their house. What else he got in here? Paul Bodum always feared what a fire would do to his home or even worse, huh. his family. New guy. And he almost found out when a few years ago, Paul and his wife took their first trip away from the kids. Sure enough, you get the call, yeah. <laughs> You don't want to get at 2 o'clock in the morning. The Chaska Fire Department was at his home. The heaters that I had in the garage um, somehow malfunctioned. To the point where temperatures in the garage were climbing above 155 degrees. It was only a matter of time before you know, some, one of the, some of the combustibles in the garage ignited. But as the children of Paul's sister-in-law slept upstairs, unaware of what was happening, a safety net prevented the flames from ever igniting. I know there would have been a fire in our house, and it could have been catastrophic without a sprinkler system this is basically called the trim ring you're going to see how dramatic that this fire builds and how quick it builds to demonstrate how much sprinklers can make a difference the chaska fire department set up two living room sets the one on the right without sprinklers the one on the left with all right in just a matter of seconds it's going to go quick the fire builds the elements including wind and temperature play a role in how fast the room heats up but in no time, it reaches 155 degrees, the temperature needed to activate the sprinklers. Just a minute, 25 seconds after the fire started, it goes off. While it immediately starts to put out the fire on the left, the fire on the right is gaining strength. Now, at two minutes into the fire, the couch on the side without sprinklers is engulfed in flames. The fire on the left, contained behind the sofa. After two and a half minutes, an inferno. Watch it again. It's hard to tell what was even in the room on the right to begin with. If you're on a second floor uh, in this unit that is still burning, and you don't have an escape plan or a second way out, chances are you're not going to survive that fire. Chaska Fire Marshal Kevin Gravelin has spent his life trying to prevent fires before they started. In his first three years as a firefighter, he responded to four fatal fires. What does a sprinkler system do? Sprinkler system again is active. It's, it's there 24-7, 365. It's going to activate. It's going to control that fire so that you can get out of that condition. And now five minutes into the fire, there is nothing left in the living room without the sprinkler. On the left, the sofa is still standing. The smoke alarm still working. But even more dramatic, the plastic bottle of water on the coffee table, untouched. Even the label is intact. If this was your home, Gravelin wants you to imagine the precious seconds the sprinkler would have allowed a fire department to arrive, or for you or your sleeping children to get out. We talk about kids. How many times have you been over to a neighbor's house and you've brought your kid with you and you try to wake your kid up to bring them home and they simply don't wake up? You know, my question is, do you think they're going to wake up when that smoke detector goes off? One reason why city officials started pushing for sprinklers in all residential homes in Chaska. Scottsdale, Arizona has required sprinklers in single-family homes for 20 years, and in 20 years hasn't experienced one single-family uh, death. To help its citizens, the city is offering current homeowners a loan to put sprinklers in their current homes. The cost? roughly 1% of the house. From a safety perspective, we're all about prevention and we'd uh, really like if we never had to use our fire trucks. But basically, this main area has you know, one, two, three, four sprinkler heads in it. For Paul Bodum, he'll never live in a home without them. It wasn't a want, it was a necessity. From downstairs to upstairs to the bedrooms. Every room in the house has a sprinkler head. The sprinklers allow Paul to rest easier. It's definitely a good peace of mind, but I never thought that we'd actually use it. Or need it. The Bodums will never know what would have happened without the sprinklers, but Paul has a pretty good idea. There's a very good possibility that it saved my children's lives.